Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome this year's recipient of the Best Coach Award, Jim Calhoun. Thank you very much, and obviously this is a great honor. Quick story, I hope. I'm going to rob some time before I start from the young guys. They're up here 30 seconds. I'm going to give you two. They're young. They can keep doing it. Me? I don't know how many more times they're going to be up on this kind of thing. But more importantly, when I was 15 years old, my father died suddenly of a heart attack. I was one of six kids, and I had to take care of my family. Two years when I became a senior, I had to stay home. I worked as a stone cutter. It was a tough time. I was kind of bitter in many ways and upset, obviously. I wanted to go play ball and be with my friends. But during that time, a few things kept me and gave me the attitude to get through it. I developed an attitude to try to win every day. Now, I didn't know then what win every day meant. Well, I tried to read every day if I could, weight train, run, stay close, though, to the game I loved. Basketball, the focus on that game kept me solid and gave me something to shoot for, gave me hope that I could be there someday. And then the people around me, my high school coach, my principal, other mentors, all rallied around me and found a way to get me back on track to get to another school, got a basketball scholarship again, went back, played ball, graduated, and excuse me, Bill Russell, I love you, man, but you cut me in 1969. <laughs> For a guy named Havlicek, I, kid, I could never understand it, John, I love you, God rest your soul. And yet, more than 50 years later, I'm still doing it. Without that village around me, I wouldn't be standing here today. And I've dedicated my life to doing for others what those folks did for me. Being tough on kids, loving them, pushing them, teaching them to try to win every single day. The game that saved and shaped my life is so important to me. And so, standing up here at 77 years old, this is about more than basketball. It's about all the coaches, all the teachers out there who no matter what, they believe that coaching, teaching, and mentoring, and making a difference in folks' lives, young people, is so important. You know, in today's day and age, it makes no difference whether you do it in front of millions, which I, I guess I did, or no one at all. The simple idea, but it's never been more important today to keep this simple idea of reach out to help others. This is the most incredible experience a man, woman could ever have to help someone. The same way those folks helped me many years ago, got me back on track to play the game I loved. I've tried to do that for the past 50 years. So to all the teachers, coaches out there and mentors, keep it up, I love you. To St. Joe's, Northeastern and Yukon, thanks for giving me a chance. To my wife of 53 years, I think we're going to make it. <laughs> and to all of you, treasure the incredible gift that you have. And make sure you try to win every day and help another. Thanks very, very much. <laughs> 